in today's video we are going to continue with the same data on mushrooms and we had seen that we had obtained an accuracy of 99.7 percent now in this video we are going to see if we can improve our accuracy any further using hyperparameter tuning you will be all wondering what exactly is this hyperparameter tuning now let us understand what exactly is hyperparameter tuning in machine learning hyperparameter optimization or tuning is the problem of choosing a set of optimal hyperparameters for a learning algorithm a hyperparameter is a parameter whose value is used to control the learning process by contrast the values of other parameters are learned now in this case our hyperparameter is nothing but the number of neighbors that we have to check the distance from so i will show you how exactly to solve this problem so first and foremost we are going to use a for loop we are going to identify for different different values of number of neighbors what is their corresponding accuracies now let us do that n is equals to list this list has elements going from 1 to 30 so for 1 to 30 neighbors i will check for the accuracy scores now i will create a list for accuracy accuracy is equals to a list now comes our for loop for i in range from 1 to 30 let's say knn is equals to k neighbor class fire where we will not specify the number of neighbors we will just write i because over here we are going to check the accuracy score corresponding to different different neighbors is equals to i now the next step after creating an object is to fit the model knn dot fit x train y train and lastly you have to predict by pred is equals to knn dot predict x test now we have to find the accuracies for the corresponding number of neighbors so we write ac is equals to accuracy underscore score by test by pred now we are going to append all the accuracies into the list of accuracy so we write accuracy dot append what are we going to append we are going to append ac now let us run this code so we have successfully run our for loop now we do not know at what number of neighbor is the accuracy to make our life a bit easier we are going to plot the accuracies across the number of neighbors so plt dot plot the number of neighbors comma accuracy i want grid lines so i'll write plt dot grid and i will say that I want grid line so I write true lastly I want it as a part of this Jupyter notebook so I write plt dot show now let us run this code now if you observe this graph you see that the accuracy is 100% at somewhere from 1 to 2 now let us see whether the accuracy has improved now we are going to perform Q 
KNN once again with the number of neighbors as 1. And in my previous video, I have explained that we are supposed to take only odd numbers as neighbors in order to avoid win-win situation. So we have to perform KNN again from sklearn dot neighbors import k neighbors class c file. Next, we create an object. Let's call it knn1 so that we do not confuse with the previous knn. k neighbors class c file and I will specify the number of neighbors as 1. This one. Now I will fit this model knn1.fit. I will fit it on x train and y train. Finally, we are going to predict it y pred is equal to knn1.predict x test. Now let us run this code. Now we have to prove whether our accuracy has improved by changing or tuning the hyperparameter. So let's do that. Print. I'll write an F string. Accuracy. In accuracy underscore score y text my bread. Now we are going to run this and check if our accuracy has improved or not. So initially our accuracy was around 99.7. Now it has jumped to 99.95. How has this happened? This has happened due to hyperparameter tuning. Here we have changed the number of neighbors and tuned our hyperparameter so that the accuracy improves. I hope the idea of hyperparameter tuning by exactly we perform hyperparameter tuning is clear for one and all. Thanks.